Could what's in a purse be any worse? According to new research, traces of poisonous bacteria, human and animal feces, E. coli, and Andy Dick can be found within a woman's handbag. If all of this sounds familiar, we covered the crap out of this story last week and we didn't even get an Emmy. But that didn't stop Bill Schultz from wanting to go deeper. Here's hoping some angry later pokes him in the eyes or perhaps kills him. What? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Is female baggage full of garbage? We hit the filthiest area in New York City to find out. That's right, Times Square. It's dirty. Dirty with tourists. Are you aware that 33% of all women have never cleaned their handbags? Sound about right, or are you completely disgusted? We just change handbags. We buy something new. So that's the thing. Instead of cleaning them, you're just contrib contributing back to the economy. Yeah. If anything, you're an American hero, even though your accent says otherwise. I'm Australian. Australian. Yeah. I always thought that that was a mythical place, <laughs> but indeed it's real. No, it is. It's wow, real. It's real. that is fantastic. Yeah. They, uh, they're famous for their griffins. Am I right? Do you clean your bag? Yes. Yes? Uh, what, what's in, can you show us what's in yours? I have the... Ooh, a delightful oh, shawl. Is that a fetus? Oh, no, no, that's just some sunglasses. Oh, what is that? A paint? paint. Oh, paint. so you're, you're, not, you're an artist. I'm a wannabe artist. Well, would you ever be interested in painting me, perhaps wearing nothing but the heart of the ocean on a couch? No. Okay, well, someone doesn't like Titanic. Okay, I like Titanic, just don't, don't like you. Well, when I'm, wear, when I'm not wearing anything, I've been called Titanic. I'll leave it at There's, that. We apparently have an emergency here. You're what? You're getting an Fox News exclusive. Oh, a lost bag. iPhone. I saw it in the bag. You're fine. Right here, She's fine. We're not sure. This is amazing. You're watching this as it happens. We don't know if this iPhone is there or not there. Ooh, this looks very S&M. Oh, my batteries operated only. Are you sure that you have an iPhone? All right, I see more snacks. This is amazing. Again, this is, I feel like Shepard, Shepard Smith, when he's uh, reporting on a live car chase, we are in the middle of whether, finding out whether or not this iPhone is lost or found. What's the weirdest thing you've ever had in your purse? A dog. Oh, no, there. Oh. <laughs> Alive or dead? Got it. There! <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm Bill Schultz. Back to you, Brad. Wow. Now, they're saying that they can find traces of E. coli virus in some women's bags when they swab them. Does that all, this all worry you? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I'll tell you. I'm wondering if you're going to do it or not. No, no. We don't have any swabs, but next time you watch Sex in the City, you see Carrie Bradshaw sashaying around with her little Fendi bag, you think about the human feces that might be in there. You know? You'll watch, yeah. You'll, you'll look at that show a little differently. Now, would you be interested in seeing what's in my bag? Sure. Okay. I mean, tit for tat. Hello. Where Could never have too many of these. Yeah. Oh, I do a Miley Cyrus impersonation in Chelsea later on. Oh. oh, okay. This is interesting. Wait. Oh. This is a cease and desist letter from Carrot Top. Oh, here's my uh, cell phone. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those smartphones. Yeah. Turns out this is women Gwyneth Paltrow's severed head. I wanted to live the life of a simple man. It didn't work out. We're doing a man on the street on handbags. I know, right? Jealous? Uh, so uh, basically, 33% of all women have never cleaned their handbags. Ah, uh, un poquito inglés. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, handbago and filfio women-o. See? See. Okay. You heard it here first. Back to you, Chef. Well, uh, I think it's... Possible that I may know less about this subject than I did before we aired it. Well, Bill. it was a little uh, graphic, so you're welcome. <laughs> was, uh, <laughs> Some gross things in that. One of the most uh, interesting segments we've had tonight uh, in the E Block. Paris, <laughs> anything shocking in your handbag? Uh, I'm writing a book, oh. and the first chapter is why I need duct tape on the set. No. Oh. And I always have a roll of duct tape. Well, why do you need duct tape on it's the set? It's an intimate reason. Really? And you have to read the book. Ugh. And it is the joy of love. Does it have to do with your guests? Help. No. <laughs> Emac, what about your purse? Anything in there? Uh, no, it's actually really boring. Just Tic Tacs and some pennies at the bottom. I want to know what's in Bill's <laughs> man bag. Uh, I love the way he walked with it. That was hot. 
I like to scurry. Sometimes I prance. All right. Before we move on, <laughs> Will, uh, do you have anything intelligent or uh, moving to add to this conversation? Or would you like to just stare lovingly at me? Purses hmm. are pretty. <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh. Can't argue with that. That was yeah. so sweet. You can't argue. Yeah. I felt love there. Thank you. That was no, nice. that was my hand. You're about okay. to get out the duct tape, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Interesting, oh. perhaps. So, do you have a comment on the show? Bet you do. Like, why is Bill still here? That's a good question. I'll just take that response and put it on the stack of about 60,000 other ones. Okay, email us. Stop it's, sending that. It's redeye at foxnews.com. You got a video of your animal doing something? Make it interesting, not cruel, adorable. I don't want to see animals crying, even if they don't have tear ducts. I can tell they're crying. Go to foxnews.com slash redeye. Click on submit a video. We might use it. And say right